Hi, this is Andrew Smith, instructor at Ferris State University, run of art by smitty.com. Uh, this is going to be part 8 in my Dota 2 workshop tutorial series. We're going to be going over baking the normal maps, so you're going to need your high poly mesh and your low poly mesh. Your low poly mesh or your game ready mesh is going to have to be unwrapped for this part. Uh, so with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and open up X normal. From here, I need to ha load my high definition of mesh. I'm going to delete that one and just go start from scratch here. Say add meshes. Go into my Dota 2 workshop, OBJ files, grab my high poly mesh, hit open. Uh, I'm going to go to my low definition meshes. Clear the other ones. I was doing some tests earlier. Make sure I'm doing it right for you guys. Uh, say add meshes. Grab the low poly. That looks good. We're going to go ahead and keep the scaling at 1. Uh, coming down to bake options, uh, I'm again. I'm going to be using a 1024 by 512 map. Uh, we want our bucket size at 32. Edge padding, probably around two. Possibly bump that up to four, but we'll we'll stick with two for now. Um, coming in here to normal map, make sure I'm using tangent space. Uh, we could use object space or world space coordinates uh, if we wanted to use hand plane. Um, I was getting some funky results with hand plane with the source engine and X normal for some reason. So I'm going to stick with tangent space. And I tested this earlier with the Dota 2 Hero shader in Max 2012 and it worked fine. So I'm going to go ahead and proceed with, with tangent space. Four times anti aliasing. Uh, and that's pretty much it. We're good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and hit generate maps. Uh, make sure that notify tile updates is on so you can actually see your progress being made. Uh, and here's our normal map. And now I have it saved to my desktop uh, as a Targa, so I'm going to go ahead and open that up inside of Photoshop. And uh, so now we can see here what we got uh, as a result. And I'm just going to kind of skim through here and make sure that everything's looking peachy. Um, I do have some areas uh, of concern around the edges of the blade, and at this point I'm going to go ahead and just kind of hand paint those. Um, everything else looks pretty, pretty solid. Okay. Uh, so again, you want to make sure that your normal map is looking good. From here, I'm going to activate, activate my brush and create a new layer. And uh, from here, I'm going to come in here and essentially color pick this color here along the edge. Uh, I want to get rid of this blue sh uh, shading going on. Uh, color picking every so often just so I'm not getting any um, crazy differences in, in from the bake. Okay, uh, coming in here, and I'm just going to kind of do my best to figure out what's exactly going on uh, in that area. And I might actually come back to that part there. Uh, coming back up here and just... Alright guys, so I've painted the, the adjustments on a different layer. Uh, these were the only problem areas that I found. I'm going to hit Control shift s and call this light blade underscore norm as a PSD to my desktop real quick. I'll eventually place it in the folder, in its respective folder in a second. Uh, what I want to do next is, if I remember correctly from when I was sculpting, I wanted to add a nice uh, inner bevel that kind of went from here over to here up you know, down to here, over to here, uh, and basically just kind of went along the, the corner of, of my blade. So I'm going to open up X normal and, or sorry, not X normal, but endo uh, to create that. Then do up, uh, loaded in, we have our view cube here, which I need to update in a second. Um, l right clicking can move your light around, um, middle mouse button will move the object around. We can load our mesh in here if we wanted to. Uh, and then scaling in and out will we'll change the size of this. Now let me move this off so I can update it. Um, what I need to do first is go I'm here to um, actually come down here to mix and say normal to undo normal. Okay, so now I need to create uh, a new layer. And uh, before I start painting, uh, what I'd like to do is get this view cube working. Uh, so what I can what I can do next is you know 
uh, click the, the refresh button over here and that will refresh whatever normal maps being shown. Um, I'm going to kind of move the light around a little bit just so we can kind of get uh, some different lighting going and, and there we, that looks good. Um, from here with my new layer selected I'll move this view cube off. Actually we might want to just load the mesh uh, for instance. Uh, so I can right click on it and go to this little load custom mesh guy and come up here to to workshop obj files oh and we actually need an fbx so I, i'll probably forgo that for now um, okay so coming in here with my new layer i'm going to grab my uh, hard edge brush painting with white come in here click once hold shift click here kind of the same technique we were using when we were concepting this guy Okay, so now that I have that laid out, uh, I'm going to click on Convert to Normal, and we'll convert that layer to a normal map layer. Now, that's not the effect I want, and I can kind of see the pre the real-time preview here of what I'm I'm getting. And yeah, it's kind of close to what I was going for, but I, I need it to be um, extruded inward. So coming over here to um, you know bevel, I'm going to say, or sorry, uh, we'll go to slant, and I'll say down. Uh, from here, I'm going to go to Blend and say Overlay. And then from here, I'm going to probably drop the opacity down just a bit. Um, just so, and, and I'm just kind of constantly updating this to see what kind of effect I'm getting and how do I like it. And I actually quite, well, I might drop the opacity down a bit more. Uh, maybe raise it up a bit. So something like that will work for, for what I'm doing. And, and now it was much easier to come in and undo and do this than it would be to sculpt that perfect straight line on that, that weird geometric shape uh, inside of uh, ZBrush. So essentially, since I've done my paint over and uh, on, the, on the edges and stuff, I created that line. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and call this done for the... Uh, from here, I'm just going to close out undo. And I'll select all my layers, hit Control-E to collapse them. And I'm actually going to create a new layer real quick and come in here and brush out uh, this guy here just because I found a uh, an error that I'd never really quite cleaned up. There we go, that's looking good. Um, and I think everything else is good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and hit Control-Shift-S, go to my Dota 2 workshop here, um, create a new folder for textures. And make sure this is light blade normal and hit save. Uh, after that, I'll hit OK. Uh, and from here, we're going to go on and, and we've got the normal map done. Uh, we're going to go ahead and create the diffuse map. And then we're going to go ahead and create some other maps that will help us uh, in, in future texture map creations. So I look forward to seeing you guys in the next part. And as always, thank you for watching.